So it's being continued because there's money in it. I know that I know Brian. Brian has said this often in this program down this pub. I've heard Brian Eno say exactly the same thing. That is why you know um, the war industry in the United States has ha, is spread into all fifty-two states. Everybody has a piece of it, so that you can never attack the Pentagon budget and blow and, and all of that stuff. Um, but the thing is, oh my God, what a dangerous game they're playing with all this talk of a no-fly zone and you know and you you and i we're all re i'm reading everything that yan is right i'm read, you know if brian would only bloody well write something i'd read all that <laughs> <laughs> you know but and, and i read everything that ray mcgovern says and that john mearsheimer says and and that noam chomsky says and that all the wise men all over the world are saying as to how that but they're not and they don't give a shit and that's the really, truly scary thing. And they don't understand, I believe, just how close to the wind, the nuclear wind, they're sailing. Because I'm, it scares the shit out of me. I really, I, I, I feel it every day now. I feel it every day. As, as the rhetoric builds and builds and as more and more people divert their attention to you know, to shining a yellow and blue light on Battersea Power Station. I go, what are you doing? Or the Empire State or whatever. You're making this into a nationalist thing? Because that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. of course we all disapprove of, <clears throat> the, you know, the breaking of um, the UN Charter and the illegal illegal wars. And we could go on and on and on again about Iraq, Palestine, you know, the Israeli invasion of Palestine and the 50-year impression of the Palestinian people. And why doesn't anybody care about that? And we probably will. Well, I probably will. The, the resolution of the conflict in Ukraine, which is why they're waving the blue and yellow flags, lies not with them. It lies as Yanis quite rightly points out, so let's repeat it again and again and again and again. Joe Biden has to meet with Putin and Zelensky. That has to happen.